Wednesday, Kat and the baby are out running some errands. After recording an episode of Inside Real Estate Show, the first, I think I need some coffee. With Cat and the Baby Gun, this is a huge opportunity for me to get a bunch of stuff done with minimal distractions. As I mentioned in the video yesterday, Cat and I have some big plans, some things that we wanna do with the business. So we have this huge project list of things that exist over here, and then we have this asset of time where we have to try to get these things done in this amount of time. There's nothing we can do about the amount of time that we have that is fixed in this equation. It is what it is. So the only thing that we can do is be more efficient and more effective with the limited asset of time that we have. The other variable that we can control is how we prioritize and what we prioritize. There's a lot of things screaming and fighting for our attention and trying to distract us from the things that we really want to get done and the things that matter the most to our business and to our personal life. So it's really about setting priorities and staying focused on those priorities. Because it's easy to get focused. What's hard is staying focused. Okay, just got done recording an inside real estate show. Um, few projects left on the list today. I have a big marketing project that I need to stop by the printer and we have to get out in the mail. Number two, I have to try to get Morgan's room started. I wanna hang the chandelier before Catherine and Morgan get home. And then I have a citizen advisory meeting, subcommittee meeting at five o'clock today. So a lot of stuff that I have to get going on. First stop, printer. Okay, now the post office. All right, I have one more thing I need to do before I head home, but I want to try to get the chandelier up in Morgan's room before they get back. So we're going to punt this other little project and head back to the house right now. Six seventeen just got done with uh, a subcommittee meeting for this downtown Lake Stevens project. Overall, pretty good meeting. The committee that I'm on, um, we it seemed very productive, and everyone on my committee uh, seems to kind of share in the same vision, same thoughts. So if you're if you live in the Lake Stevens area and you're interested in what's going on in the downtown area with that project, if you haven't heard anything of it, uh, by the way, they're looking to redo the entire downtown area. So uh, now I'm letting you know. Um, go to the website that the consultants have set up. It's LakeStevensDowntown.com. Um, and they're gonna be putting a bunch of resources there and information with social media links like Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, the thing that I like about this project is so far it seems very transparent and these consultants are taking that transparency to the next level with that webpage. So head to lakestevensdowntown.com uh, if you live in the area just so that you're aware of what's going on. It is 9.56 p.m. 
just finished up a major project that needed to be done by tomorrow morning so it's done still have some uh, projects I need to work on but I'm gonna take a break for a moment and go hang out with Kat I haven't spent uh, too much quality time with her today so gotta get that into